Well, for more analysis, we can speak now to Jose Manuel Alvarez, who is the Spanish Secretary General for International Affairs. Thank you very much indeed for speaking to us. Uh, we understand there are fresh demonstrations now in Catalonia. Uh, it's looking pretty tense this evening. Uh, I'm just wondering, where do you see things heading from here? Well, as you know, the judges, as uh, in any uh, democracy in the world, have taken a decision not on ideas. Uh, of course, uh, the pro-independent ideas uh, have uh, total space in Spain uh, to be put forward, but on facts, the facts of breaking the Constitution and breaking the law. So we hope that the pro-independent movement will take and will seize the sentence as an opportunity to move forward uh, and to go back into the Constitution and into the law and to try to create a new world way to express their ideas and uh, to enter into a dialogue that will benefit all Catalonians, not only those that are in favour of independence. But those jail terms uh, for those nine separatist leaders, uh, I mean, don't you think that was a move destined to backfire? Because this has had the effect of galvanising support for, for the separatist leaders, and that's completely the opposite of what, presumably, uh, the government would have wanted. Well, you know, in a rule of law, in a real democracy, as is the case in Spain, as it could be in France, in the United Kingdom, in any country that it's a democracy, the government does not take the decision on the sentences. It has been the judges. So there is nothing that the government can do or nothing that the government has uh, to comment. On the other hand, uh, and once again I want to highlight it, this has nothing to do with the ideas of these people. Maybe some of the people that are watching right now don't know it, but the president of the Catalonian region is a pro-independent leader, and he is there and there is no problem. And since the end of the dictatorship, we had MPs in the Spanish parliament that were in favor of the independence uh, of, of Catalonia. But at the same time, the Catalonian government must acknowledge that they don't have a social majority. They have never had it, and they don't have it right now. Most of the people in Catalonia, more than 50% of the people, don't want independence. And there is nothing that can be achieved and nothing that can be built uh, breaking the constitution and breaking the law. So we hope that this sentence will be a sort of wake-up call, a way of uh, reflection for uh, the pro-independent leaders, and that they will go back to the constitution, they will ba go back to the law, and above all, that they will take into consideration all Catalans, not only those that are in favour of independence. Um, as you know, of course, elections are looming in a matter of weeks there in Spain. I mean, do you see this issue of Catalan independence now becoming perhaps one of the most dominant issues on the campaign trail? Uh, and I'm just wondering as well as a follow up to that. I mean, is your prime minister uh, likely to make any further concessions to the Catalans ahead of those elections? Well, it's not a new issue in Spanish politics. It has been lingering for many years, and uh, it's not nothing new right now. And it's a concern, of course, uh, not only for uh, the whole of Spain, but also if we go and we look into uh, the Catalan society, we see the split that there is right now. If you are talking uh, about concessions from the government, uh, there will not be concession. There might be dialogue if they go back to the constitution and into the law, but no concessions. I mean, we cannot make concessions uh, when we are talking about the constitution, when we are talking about law and order, when we are talking about the integrity and the unity uh, of Spain. What we hope, and it's much needed, is that the Catalonian government will join the Spanish government in the effort of bringing once again coexistence. Because beyond the political problem uh, that once again is not new, it has not appeared in this political campaign, there is a really deep problem right now within uh, the Catalonian society that is a split into parts between the pro-independent movement and the rest of the Catalonian that remain being a majority today. And some movements of the Catalonian government don't help at all and they deepen uh, this uh, uh, split into the Catalonian society.
Okay, we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Jose Manuel Alvarez, the Spanish Secretary General for International Affairs. Thank you for speaking to France 24.